So before I, I say one word in this video moving forward over here, relaxing, doing what I do to find my balance in life, let's take a moment of silence for the tragedies that are occurring around the world right now as we speak. So in the last video, I took you through the steps on preparing the Cervini's rear Cobra bumper uh, and prepped it for paint, okay? In the interim, between videos, I went ahead and shot this thing. I gotta say, it came out really, really good. And from where I left you guys off, uh, just to catch up if you haven't seen that video, which you should actually go back and watch, where we deburred it, we block sanded it, we primed it, we block sanded the primer, and when I, when I, after I was done block sanding the primer, I'm like, all right, you know what? We're sending it. Could it have, could I have done it again? Yeah, but I'm like, you know what? It's, it's good. It's straight. Uh, it, it really, it came out flawless, guys. It came out really good. Uh, I really, aside from a couple of dirt nibs, I'm not even gonna buff the whole thing. We're gonna have a conversation here soon about the clear coat that I'm using. It's an Advantage product. It's a Euro Clear. We'll get into all that stuff because this product has been really, really good for someone like me and maybe yourself where you're working outside of a spray booth, possibly you know at your garage or your own house, building your car, right? I'm real happy with the way that came out. There's really not much to, to popping this thing on, a couple little mods that I'm gonna do to make life easier on and off in the future. But other than that, there she is guys, came out beautiful. We're going to put it on there. Um, while the wheels are off, I uh, stopped by UPR and I picked up a set of springs because right now I have uh, 10 inch, 150 pound springs in the rear and I got to go up with the car just a little bit, maybe like 3 8 to a half inch a little bit taller. All right. You know, having it tucked real nice in the back and having that nice stance and squatted and all. It's a cool look, but for functionality, it's no good, all right? And I want to go up just a little bit more. I ran out of adjustment, kind of, so I figured let me just get a longer spring. The guys at UPR helped me out and made, me, made sure that I went with the right spring. So they got me squared away with that, and I really can't wait to see how this thing is going to look because this is going to complete the whole back end of this car is going to be done. And then we just got to worry about from the doors forward. So and then obviously interior, but that's for another day. But it's actually starting to look like a real car, guys. Yeah, so let's get it, let's do it. All right, guys, so from the factory, this is the bar that holds your rear bumper to the car, okay? So it's gonna go up into these holes that Cervini has already pre-drilled and they do line up uh, amazingly, which is unheard of. So they pop right in there just like that, okay? And what I'm gonna do, just to make life easier for myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop rivet. I drilled a couple extra holes here. I drilled uh, this hole and I drilled one way over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop rivet this right to the bumper. This way, when we do take it on and off, um, th this bar is not gonna keep falling inside and I can, you know, I can work it without any problems. Now it's basic pop rivets, no big deal. Simple enough. Sometimes you gotta like contort yourself a little bit, figure it out, but that's it guys, that's in. So, this thing's ready to like lay up in there. I'm just gonna put a little anti-seize on this and uh, that's it. Oh, I forgot we gotta put the tape on. Let me do that real quick. This is double-sided tape. I don't know if this is 3M brand, but I'm gonna go with what they gave me. 
because uh, I don't have any extra right now. And so instead of using the, the stock bolts, they want you to tape it on. So that's fine. And we'll just get a little piece. And there's a little lip in there. I'm trying to stay in that lip. So from the factory, you had some uh, some studs that went through here on the factory bumper. We're not going to use them because the Cervini's Cobra style bumper is all one piece, and there's no more seam here. Okay, so we're going to do. I'm going to use some nut certs. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this tool. This is, you call them either blind rivets or nut certs. All right, we're gonna screw this in there like this. I didn't even have to drill them out because the hole's just the right size. Okay, these are six millimeter nut certs. We're gonna squeeze that in there like that. Don't kill them too much. You kind of get the feel for this tool after a while. All right, and that's it. So now we don't have to wrestle with a nut and a bolt um, going on and off the car anymore. We're just gonna reach up in there and pop that bolt in. Nut certs, man, they're a beautiful thing. All right, guys, so I just threw these bolts up. I got a couple bolts on the inside, and I just threw these corner outer bolts up and threw the lights in there just to see how straight it is, and oh, my God. I'm having a freaking heart attack over here. Wow. I mean, ooh, that looks freaking so sick. Oh, my God. I, I can't even take it. Oh, my God. Let me get going. Let me keep going. I'll break out some lighting equipment for you guys to see because for some reason... On the other side, couldn't see nothing in the video. All right. So um, the light, the holes kind of lined up on the other side. Well, I got the top one, but this one is not even close. So I'm gonna just center punch them. Nice and nice. Just the one. Oh yeah, it's not even close. All right. Let me get that. You get that drilled. Okay. Make sure this is straight. Okay. Yep. Right about there. There we go. There's a good one. Okay. Get that metal out of there. You can see now. Um, I had to drill this hole and this hole. Okay, so these holes, eh, eh you know, this fender well, I, I rolled it anyway, so who knows how much it distorted and all that stuff, but I mean, definitely didn't distort that much. So yeah, whatever, so you just drill a couple holes. That's why we're gonna put some silicone in, in high, inside here and in between the two. This way we get a nice tight seal. We don't want anything to start rusting, right? So I'm gonna start my tape, get that uh, peeled up a little bit. So we're gonna get them started just like that, okay? Now we're gonna take some silicone. <laughs> don't mind my tube, guys, it, it dried up on me, so I had to give it a little cut. Now I know all of you have done that before, okay? So, no judgments. I'm gonna focus on those holes real good. I'm also gonna give it a nice bead. 
Alright. Alright, I'm just checking. Let me see if I can pull this tape off now without having a problem. It's gonna fight me at the end. Okay, so let me pull this out. Okay, just like that. There it's out. Pain in the ass. We're in the right spot. There's one. All right, now that we got both the screws kind of snug, I'm double checking my body line. It looks good. Everything looks in place. The, I'm following the curve here is good. So I'm gonna snug it right there. Not too tight on these guys. Just snug. Just snug with a kiss. Okay? There's some silicone left over, so I'm going to give it a little good old fashioned silicone wipe. That's going to do it for this part. All right, so we got our bracket. Just a little black spray bomb, no big deal. We're gonna stick it on up in there now. Now, from the way I understand, I guess I guess we're gonna use that hole, and I think we're gonna use that hole. So let me, uh, I guess let me try to put this thing up there. This is very awkward to video, guys, but I had a little whoopsie. Uh, I guess I shut the camera off. But that's how this bracket goes up, guys. It's, this thing went right in there. It's so easy. Now, this is an updated version. Um, I guess they had a metal bracket prior to this. And this is the solution. Let me just make sure my fuel line's good. Yeah, it's perfect. It's just the little push pops in those holes right there where the gas tank strap goes, and then it push pops right here. So, I mean, we can't... <laughs> It doesn't get any better than that. I'll tell you what, I was a little bit iffy about this, but this fiberglass unit right here, it's pretty badass. It's out of the way. It's awesome. I'm really, really happy with this. This is, this worked out. Couldn't have worked out any better, to be honest with you. All right, so uh, props to Serenis on one, the fitment, the design, and overall functionality. I mean, really, really great, man. Oh, look at this guy, bro. Just just keep hosing it away, bro. Don't worry about it. What did you see? Because now, now I'm getting abused. You know, we got Keith Cricket here. Now we got Sean. This is what I get, all right? What, what are you saying? What are you saying? That should be black. It should be black? Bro, that's, that's actually attractive, okay? And I've gotten a lot of compliments about that because it's one, it's a little bit different. And it's a trend now, and it, it enhances and makes the body lines pop on the car. Whoa, what, what, what is it you with all this water, too? Using extra water today, or what? I'm trying to clean up some of the shitty paint job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Just keep going. No problem. And if he ever gets his tent done, then we can go for a ride. Yeah, right? Yes. See, uh, he, he don't want to be seen up that gray stripe. He wants a tenant first. He's got to go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Don't bro me. Whoa, easy with that. Don't fucking bro me, guy. <laughs> That's, I can't see it. That's way too dark, bro. Where, where, where am I going with this? I'm, I'm a fucking old. I can't see out of that. What, do I look like I'm 17? What, you got an Ulfa? I got to see where you're going to put that because I need those. Let me get a blade, bro. For what? I'm my Ulfa. Why don't you hurt yourself? I haven't had a new Ulfa blade in a long time. That's flour. Powder hey, guys, see this right here? See these blades? That's an Ulfa blade, all right? You got to get these at an art store. That's the best. No, uh, None of those uh, cheapos. I'm going to have to put it down and, uh, and give them a hand here real quick, guys, because, uh, you know. All right, guys. I haven't even uh, nib de nibbed this or, or buffed or anything yet, so um, I might just give it a little touch. A couple little dirt spots. Uh, let me see if I find you one. Yeah, there's like 
there's one little dirt spot right there if you can see it but other than that I think there's like maybe I can't even see anything but anyway that's how she came out no orange peel guys all right no orange peel what do we have coming next guys I'm working on some things to make this channel better um, if you decide right now that you're at a point of your build where you're willing to take on the challenge of painting your car, okay, and you're totally lost and you don't know where to even start or what type of products to get into or what's good right now, what's going to work for you in your garage environment, feel free to, to drop that in the comments. I want to hear it, okay, and we're going to get a little bit more interactive on that subject moving forward in some future videos, okay? So let me know what you guys are interested in as far as products, what you like, what you don't like. I wanna hear some failures and I wanna hear some success stories. So drop them in the comments, hit me at my email, or hit me up on Instagram, okay? Um, and I will definitely get back to you on that one. But until then, I'm going to see you next time. We got a little something special that we're going to do to the hood on this car. All right. So we'll get that prepared. We'll get that painted. And um, that's it. With all that being said, guys, thanks for watching this one. And be safe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.